We're excited about the next chapter in the history of the Booth School. Please join me in welcoming Madam Raja. I was told to keep this to five minutes, but I feel like this is my Oscars, so <laughs> unless I'm here by mistake, I'm going to go through my speech. Um, Dr. Zimmer, Provost Diermeyer, uh, faculty, distinguished faculty, guests, students, staff, uh, I'm delighted and, and deeply grateful to be here today. Uh, I couldn't be more thrilled at the opportunity to serve as your dean. The University of Chicago is one of the world's preeminent academic institutions, uh, and Booth is unquestionably the best academic school of business there is in the world. I put that in the press release today. I'm going to get a lot of crap tomorrow at Stanford. But I can't. <laughs> and I love the fact that the school is, is dedicated to educating tomorrow's leaders on general management, but, but using the foundations of discipline based rigor. To be entrusted with the deanship of the school is, is an amazing honor. It's, it's something I can scarcely comprehend. And it's, been, it's taken me a few days to sort of get to this point. Uh, I want to thank President Zimmer, Provost Diermeyer, for the confidence they have placed in me to carry out this role. Um, I feel like I know Daniel particularly well. Uh, he and I never overlapped at Stanford, uh, but we twice tried to hire him. We sort of had a full process and came through it, and then at the last minute, uh, Daniel said no. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't repay the favor, Daniel. I really thought this was too good an opportunity to pass up here. So. I uh, want to express my deep admiration to uh, Reed Hasty, the chair of the search committee, uh, and to the members of the search committee. I uh, think the school, and, and certainly I personally, owe them a huge debt of gratitude for the diligence and service that they have put into this cause. Whenever I spoke to them, they were incredibly open uh, and transparent, and it was never like an interview. It was more like having a conversation with some friends. And, and I really like the feel of that. And, and I think from that standpoint, it seemed like a particularly good, good fit for me. Uh, I've learned a lot about the school from our interactions. And uh, I hope that I can connect more with the search committee and, and all of you over time so that I can learn more about the school and its culture. This institution is in phenomenal shape thanks in large part to the efforts of all of you, right? the faculty, the staff, and the students, and the guidance of those who have served in leadership roles. I am particularly indebted to Doug Skinner, uh, whom I've known for many years as a colleague in the accounting profession, for doing so much in his role as interim team to keep Booth's momentum going here and abroad. And I am today the beneficiary of his and the Dean's Office's unstinting efforts and far reaching vision. So, thank you very much, Doug, for what you've done. On the personal side, for those who don't know me, uh, my first name is pronounced Mada. Uh, I've heard every possible variation of this, and, and, I, and I won't be offended as long as you're close enough. Um, <laughs> You're all familiar with my last name, of course. Um, and, I, and I'm resigned to being forever the less distinguished Rajan at this institution. Um, so I'll not bore you with the, with the details of my background. Uh, I'll just say that I did my graduate work at Carnegie Mellon, uh, where I did applied micro theory, uh, then spent 11 years in the accounting group at Wharton, uh, moved to Stanford in 2001, uh, was area coordinator for the accounting group there for eight years, uh, then spent six years in the Dean's office. Uh, in the Dean's office, I was faculty dean for a couple of our areas, marketing and organizational behavior. Uh, for a part of the time, I ran our part-time uh, one-year program, so a relatively small one, but, but my main job was running our flagship MBA program. Uh, and for the students here, if you're interested in knowing what my relationship was with the students there, uh, just Google my name on YouTube. <laughs> You'll find lots of stuff, okay? You've seen it, okay. <laughs> so also the, the press release today noted that in 2007-08, I was a visiting faculty member at Chicago GSB. It was GSB at the time, I think, no, 07-08. Uh, that was absolutely true, but what it neglected to mention was that I never set foot in Chicago for that period. Uh, I was teaching in the program in London, and at that time, Singapore. Uh, that's why I was a visiting faculty. So I, I begin officially on July 1. Uh, I think that's kind of a soft day. 
Uh, I have a couple of commitments this summer um, that, that I have to keep. Most importantly, a road trip with my daughter who starts work this, this August. Uh, and we had planned this almost a year ago, and she's not willing to change her mind despite what's happened here. Um, the one change is that instead of, we were, we were going to end up in Mount Rushmore, but instead we're going to end up in Chicago instead, uh, where she hopes to pick up a new booth sweatshirt. Uh, so the story is that for many years her favorite sweatshirt was a booth sweatshirt, although it was powder blue. I'm not sure if you'll still make that color. That had been handed down to her by Maureen McNichols, who's my, my faculty colleague. And, and finally, last year, we got rid of that when she was away in Europe, but she's now keen on getting a new one. So we will be here together this summer. Uh, as I said, I begin in July, but I plan to come out probably a few times before that. Uh, I'd love to get to meet, uh, meet, get to know all of you during the time, uh, and, and during early autumn if that works better for you. It'd be great to find out what's on your minds uh, and how together we can create, uh, to, to how we can make Booth greater, right? Not great, again, just great. <laughs> uh, this is a school with, with amazing achievements and, and assets, and one whose core values actually resonate very deeply with mine, as you know, Dr. Zimmer and Provost Diermeyer mentioned. At heart, I do believe that rigorous, empirically-based research and analysis is the foundation of good business practice and policy, and it can and should serve as the basis for an effective MBA curriculum. And I also believe in the, in the power of, of education. Right? The goal of the MBA program is not just to give you some tools, but to be truly transformative in making you change the way you think about problem solving, right? make it more systematic and analytic. And in that sense, you know, what I think is exactly, I think, what the, the Booth faculty feel as well. So again, I look forward to learning about Chicago from all of you. Uh, and once I'm more familiar with the school and the culture, to promoting these themes in the most effective way possible. I think we can leverage this to have incredible impact, uh, not just here, but also abroad, at Booth and at the university, with the current students and also with, with alumni, and in academia and also in industry. And it's my goal to, to do that in the best way possible. Uh, to conclude, finally, I'm gonna conclude on a request to the senior faculty here that you please find it in your hearts to vote me tenure. I'd like to be one of you. Um, <laughs> So thank you all again. I'm, I'm delighted to be a part of this illustrious university and this great business school. Thank you.